What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nate Almighty. Ladies, it's your man, Nate Almighty. Shout out to the GPA, the Global Power Ambassadors. This video right here, I will explain how and why Mahoney will go after Braden in the new spinoff. Now, I know there has been similar videos made to this topic, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into depth of where this direction is going to be taken by the writers as I will explain why Mahoney as a character is still relevant because I know we have the naysayers that say Mahoney is not a real character. Two, I will explain how he will enter the story. Three, I will explain the many plot twists and directions the writers can and will take with this character and how it affects Tariq and Brayden. And the reason why I'm going to explain it in that way is because, yes, I'm saying that Mahoney will initially go after Brayden. But that does not mean that he will not end up finding a reason to keep Brayden alive. It's not just so black and white as if Mahoney will come after Brayden, Tariq will find out, he will come save Brayden by killing Mahoney. It's not that simple. And lastly, we will discuss just where Mahoney has been all of this time. Now, the inspiration for this video was given to me by a loyal subscriber by the name of Demarcus Vaughn, who frequently comments on my videos. I appreciate it, brother. I decided to take his idea and then put my own twist on it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's get to it. Okay, so Mahoney was mentioned by Mecca. And it may seem like he was just a random person brought up in order to move the plot along. But the writers took the time to also indirectly tell us not only that Mahoney is an enemy, but he's a formidable enemy. Because even before Noma came along, Mahoney was Mecca's op, which means he was Noma's op and competitor. And if he was, it means he was playing with just as much money. Right? And maybe even more. Proof of that has already been hinted. Because Mahoney owns things like jewelry stores and many, many stash spots. And probably owns a chain of jewelry stores. Meaning his net worth is at least in the hundred millions. And Braden did not cover his face during the robbery, as we all know. We also know that Braden, oh, we knew that Braden was going to end up being a psychopath when he pointed the gun at the worker of Mahoney, presumably, and he pulled the trigger, even though it was on safety, right? We know this. But, like I said, Braden did not cover his face during the robbery. Kane will be gone. So, especially if Mahoney is a little bit racist, Mahoney will most likely assume Tariq is the partner during that robbery, which definitely was caught on camera and I'm going to further explain why he will assume that it was Tariq meaning there's a reason why he is going to automatically view Tariq as his partner because the way that they're going to meet up isn't going to be as direct as a lot of people may assume right let's talk about now how he can and will enter the story Okay, I believe he went into the story in a Milan kind of way, but in a way that we're still not going to expect. So, you know, it's not going to be somebody who's doing security detail or something of the sort like Milan did. Right. But he will enter covertly in some kind of way. Now, let me explain how and why and what kind of individual and character we can expect this Mahoney guy to be, okay? He went into the Milan type of way where he will be gathering intel on Tariq's organization before he strikes as he attempts to covertly, completely overthrow and take over Tariq's organization as what would be a death blow to Noma's entire organization that has to do with Chinadu and all of her family. I think he wants to completely pulverize them and, and get rid of their whole 
bloodline. We will find out that they have a long history of smoke. Okay? Mahoney will be doing things like ruining business plans, sabotaging events, right? Because somehow, some way, he will be someone that's privy to this information. He will be around, but will not be taken as a threat. Or somebody working under him will be around and not taken as a threat. For example, when it comes to Milan and how Milan was around, we may actually see a woman come around that will initially look like someone of value to Therese's organization, but come to find out she's Mahoney's wife or daughter or niece, right? Even more can be done if she just so happens to be around Tariq and Brayden's age. And I will connect all of this, right? But like I said, doing things like that They will be able to sabotage events. They'll be doing their own robberies, finding out where certain stash spots is at. And Tariq is going to be like, yo, who robbed the stash spot? What the hell is going on, right? Right? Leaning, learning who Tariq's enemies are and his competitors and empowering them. Mahoney will likely be a high intellectual and will choose to continue to move in the shadows while also hiding in plain sight. Now, let's talk about some of the plot twists that will happen with Brayden because I only believe that Mahoney's entrance officially into the story is through him looking out for Brayden. But let's discuss the different ways that these plots will take, the different ways this story will go as we get to know who Mahoney is, because we got to understand that Mahoney is going to be a businessman first and foremost, right? So ultimately, well, let's just get to it, right? He could initially want to kill Brayden, but after watching him work, realizes that he actually likes how Brayden thinks and wants Brayden to work for him. This will happen at a time where Tariq and Brayden are at odds within the organization. As we already know, Brayden has this plight where he doesn't want to be a subordinate. He wants to be the man, right? He doesn't mind being Tariq's number two, but he wants to be valued and treated as an equal and not an underling. So we're going to see that kind of struggle at least during the first two seasons of this spinoff, right? So Mahoney, who will have by this point decided, okay, I don't want to necessarily kill Brayden. I've got my intel. I see that there's a wedge between Tariq and Brayden, but I also see that Brayden is worth more to me alive because he he has a, a, a brighter mind and more talent of getting the work sold and getting things done, right? Than people who may already work for him. He will offer Brayden a higher position than he currently or at that time has with Tariq. But of course... What will Brayden have to do in order to gain this high position with all this money and all this clout, right? Where he will feel equal or greater to Tariq. He will have to kill Tariq. Y'all know, Brayden will maybe contemplate it. We may see a standoff. We may even have Tariq and Brayden shoot at each other. I believe that day is definitely going to come. But no matter what, Brayden will ultimately choose to save Tariq's life again. I believe when it's all said and done, of course, they will unite and they will just kill Mahoney. Ultimately, you got to understand where it's going to go. Tariq and Brayden are not going to want to be under the scrutiny of someone named Mahoney or anyone that got to do with Noma's family. Ultimately, they're going to decide that We want to be bigger and more powerful than all these people. And we have to move them off the chessboard. And that will happen by them killing them. That's ultimately the the conclusion that Tariq and Brayden are going to come to together. Of course, we have to expect that. You know what I'm saying? This this is power. We know it's going to go that way, right? And now to end this video, let's talk about where exactly Mahoney has been the whole time. And this answer is very simple. Doing business outside of New York City, or at least outside of the territory that Tariq and Noma's people operated, because it's too hot. 
I think Mahoney is going to be someone who's highly intellectual, and he's going to be someone who found it uh, disadvantageous to try to infringe on whatever territory Noma had in New York City, knowing that it's hot. There's a lot going on. He probably already has begun to understand who Tariq is. He probably had moles within Noma, Noma's organization already. He's basically on some, yo, this is hot. I'm not done with this. He's going to be somebody who's very much covert. Someone who you're not going to expect to be as deadly as he is when you look at him. Like, this person is liable to be somebody who might be gay. Might be someone who looks very weak and not very appealing. But when it's time to be gangster and do dangerous things and do gangster shit, that's the type of person who this Mahoney person is going to be. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Oh, can't teach that shit, nigga. Come on. That's God's That's touch by an angel. That's on the dome, nigga.